If your child has problems with the communication and social skills to the point they have trouble reacting possibly to the world around them, they may have autism. A number of children being diagnosed is on the rise. April is Autism Awareness Month, and we hope to help families out there who may have questions. Alicia Wade is here to share her family's personal story. Good morning. Good morning. Thanks for being here and driving safe. The weather out there, nasty. We know that. Well, but thank I'm glad, you for having glad me. you made it. I know you have a seven-year-old son who yes. has uh, autism. When was he diagnosed? In May of 2008. Okay. Okay, so uh, so he was almost three, almost three years old. Um, you know, kind of give us an, uh, an idea of what that was like for you emotionally and how it changed your life. It was devastating and relieving all at the same time. Um, when he was about eight months old, we started to notice things that seemed like symptoms, and we brought it up to our primary care, and they said to wait and to wait. And then finally, when we got that diagnosis, it was a relief. But then there's a lot of questions about where do we go next, and now we have this label. What do we do now? And so it, it's been a long road in the last five years since diagnosis. What were some of the symptoms that you noticed? He has a lot of sensory issues. So he was chewing on a lot of things. He didn't make eye contact. He didn't like to be touched or be with people at all. He wanted to just be left alone. Almost from the day that he was born, he just wanted to be alone in a big environment with no people, no touching. So it's different for every child. I know he has more of the sensory issues. Now he's uh, nonverbal. He's starting to do sign language. But that, that was the big key, is that he didn't have any of the baby milestones. We're seeing some pictures of him, and you have a, an older child as well. Yes, John. What kind of a, you know, impact was that on him, and how is he dealing with it? He is amazing. He's very patient. Um, it was hard at first. He didn't understand why his brother was different from everyone else. But in the last five to six years, they've really bonded. They play together, and they're just so easy with each other. But I think John has brought out the best in James. What has it been the most difficult thing about raising an autistic child? I think the world's reaction. Autism is out there, but people don't really understand what kids go through day to day. So the staring, the rude comments, the, the things like that. And they affect your child, even though people don't think they understand what they're saying. They really do take a cue from the world around them. And if you don't have people that are patient and understanding, then the kids pick up on that. And they don't do so well in situations where people stare and, and make rude comments. You said when he was first diagnosed, you had a lot of questions. And so wh what do you think uh, you would like to tell families out there that may be dealing with the same situation and have a lot of questions? What advice would you give them? I would say get in touch with your local autism society. Go to your pediatrician. Just seek any information. The Internet is a wonderful tool to find support groups. You know, ask other moms what they're going through. And if you don't get the answer from your doctor, don't wait. Go to a different doctor. Don't wait like we did and put it off for another year and, and just trust your doctor. If you feel that something's wrong, you need to go to wherever it takes to get hooked up with the people that will at least look at your child and give you a diagnosis or say, you know, you're fine, you're just crazy. I know one of the resources is the Shandy Clinic. Oh, they're amazing. What can you tell us about them really quickly? They are very patient and understanding. They're amazing. And if their treatment plan isn't working, they quickly come up with a different one. They're willing to try everything. It's just a good resource in the community. They're very accepting of sensory autistic kids, which is what I have. But they're very um, accepting of other children, too. All right. Well, the website is theshandyclinic.com. It's right there on your screen. So you might want to check it out. And if you, they can answer a lot of your questions as well. But Alicia, thanks for coming in and sharing your family story with us. Thank we appreciate you. it. Drive safe out there today. Okay? <laughs> yeah. All right, let's check the forecast now. Speaking of the roads and the weather, Jeff.